Today we're looking at two new nets from Gardner, the GTN and the GTN Plus. So as I mentioned, with me today are the GTN and the GTN Plus landing nets. So I've got to say when I read the email in a slightly dyslexic manner, I did think I was getting sent into GNTs, not GTNs. So unfortunately no gin for today, but I have got some lovely landing nets with me. And there's two different ones in the range. So whether you're a bit more budget conscious or you want something a bit more fancy, then they've got two different options with me. The similarities though, we'll start with that, is first of all, they both come in their own dedicated net bag. They're both two-piece landing net handles and they're both 42 inch landing nets with olive green mesh. But well, that's pretty much where the similarities end. So I'll jump into each of them individually, starting with the GTN standard. So here is the GTN. Now this comes in at an RRP of 59.99. So it's the cheaper of the two nets I've got with me, but uh, it doesn't mean it's not a nice net. If as you see, it's kind of a gloss black finish with the landing net, nice and lightweight, not as lightweight as the other one, which I'll get onto in a second, but it is still a carbon landing net handle. It's a two piece, which is quite clear. And uh, it's quite a nice, easy fit together. Snugs down, you've got little uh, whippings on the spigot sort of part of the landing net and a grippy bit on the end of your uh, landing net pole here. Quite understated graphics, you've got the Gardner logo down here and the GTN right down by the base of the handle. If we shoot up to the other end, as you can see the spreader block is your fairly standard looking spreader block. This is a strong nylon material, so nice and sturdy and nice big holes in the end as well to receive the landing net poles. So it's sturdy to, uh, for the first part, sorry, but it also nice and easy to put the nets together. Some nets can be quite fiddly, but this one, as the holes are so big, slips in as easy as that. So uh, a nice and standard landing net pole and the handle, sorry. So there's not a lot more to add to that other than it does all you want it to. It's at a much more reasonable price, still nice materials. I think it looks nice for the net. It's nice and strong and it's easy to use. So if that's the sort of net you're after, then the GTN is the one for you. Fairly deep mesh, it's universal mesh all the way around. So it's not like it's a really fine mesh at the bottom. So it'd be nice and easy to move through the water. Plenty deep enough and big enough to land most carps in the UK and uh, as it's a standard 42 inch landing net. The net arms, the only difference is when I move on to the other one you'll see slightly different is that the net arms curve round on this one rather than just straight poles. But other than that, there's not a lot more to say about this other than it's a handy little net. And you see, it's not gonna come apart too easy when you're on the bank. So I think I've wedged it together too hard, there we go. So uh, yeah, nice little all rounder net if that's what you're after pop that to the side, move over to the GTN Plus. Now, you'll be quite obvious why it gets the Plus name straight away, because there's more coming out of the bag. So you've still got a two-piece handle, but this time we have a 3K carbon. So it's even more lightweight than the other one. Another little difference that you spot is that we've got two bits of shrink wrap on the lower section of the handle. So it really does weigh next to nothing. It's nice and sturdy as well as carbon you'd expect. Same understated graphics, still got the Gardner logo down the bottom with the GTN Plus logo down there as well. Again, nice and easy to put together. You've got the same sort of gloss black whippings around the sort of join of the net. But moving up to this end, you've also got a different spreader block. This is black CNC machined spreader block. So first of all, it's nice and small. So compared to the more traditional I'm going to cover that in the camera. As you can see, the complete difference there, more traditional look to this one, which is much more sleek, slick, and uh, yeah, just sort of understated. And of course, as you can see here, it comes with a net float as well as standard. But because the spreader block is slightly different, the way it goes together is slightly different as well in comparison to the nylon spreader block on the GTN. Because you've got such a small profile there, the arms are slightly different. It's also worth noting that the mesh is exactly the same, olive green. The arms are slightly different, however. They don't curve round at the end like the GTN standard arms do. These ones just end on a nice straight net arm like so. And this end, there's just little, I don't know, nodules, noblets, I don't know what you want to call them. Little bits that stick out that go into the uh, spreader block here. Slot in like so. Pop this one in here. They can be a bit more fiddly than standard spreader blocks, whereas the GTN, one of the things about it is says it's so easy to put together, but as you can see, once you've got the knack of it, it's nice and easy to do. Nice and sturdy as well. It's not coming apart just because it's a smaller spreader block, still nice and sturdy. And then you take the net float, tuck the little tab through their little Velcro tab and tighten it on. And that secures it to the spreader block. So uh, when you're netting a fish and you're just on your own and you want to put the net out in front of you and don't want the risk of it sinking, that's exactly what that helps you with. 
But one other thing to pick up on, when I said this is a 3K carbon weave, is that look how easy that is to hold out. I'm holding the very base of this thing and I'm able to lift it easily. It's not weighing me down. Like if this was the other net, which I wouldn't have called a heavy net, I wouldn't be able to do this as easily as I am. So that's quite impressive just how lightweight this net handle is and easy grip as well. The two different grip points, so you can add it much closer in, or if you do really have to extend, like I just said, you can still control the net with one bit, one arm on the very base of this landing net. So it is nice. So the difference between the two, I forgot to say the price of this one, sorry, RRP comes in at 99.99. So it is 40 quid more over the GTN, but the things you're getting different are the sort of machined spreader block, slightly different materials. This looks smarter, it comes with the net float, it's standard, it's lighter. So yes, they do the same job, you'll still be able to land fish with both, but this one just has that little bit of extra finesse that if you like that sort of stylistic changes over the GTN, then take a look at the GTN Plus. So that's everything you need to know about these two new nets from Gardner. So for more information, if that's not enough for you already, then please do head over to their website, take a look at all their other items they've got as well. But for now, that's all from me. So please like this video if you did, and subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on all social media platforms coming up at the bottom of your screen right now. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.